look at um, an example where we need to find the mean and the standard deviation of a binomial experiment. This is a binomial experiment because um, it has it has, we're either getting it, the question right or wrong, so it has two um, outcomes here. Um, these are independent, the, the probability of a success each time is the same, um, so we know it's binomial. The average of a binomial, the mean of a binomial, is just simply the n times p. And here we're being asked for the average number of questions that someone who guesses on every question would get correct. So. They're taking this 20 question quiz, they have no idea, and they maybe they use a run, random number generator and guess on each question um, how many, on average, questions would they get correct, okay? So since we're asking about the average number that they get correct, um, we'll find our n, but our p is going to be the probability that they get the question correct. We want to make sure that our P matches the question that's being asked. So in this case, we want the average number correct, so our P needs to be the probability that we get one question correct. Multiple choice quiz, four choices for each answer. Um, one of those is going to be right, the other three are going to be wrong, so we have a one-fourth or .25 chance of getting the question correct. Um, and then our N is the number of questions that we have. So we have 20, okay, fixed number of trials, another um, requirement for a binomial. So simply finding the average is just taking the 20 and multiplying it by 0.25, one fourth of 20. On average, a student is going to get five questions correct if they were to guess on every question. Okay, and just for fun, let's find the standard deviation of this as well. Give ourselves a little bit of room. The standard deviation, sigma, for a binomial is the square root of n times p times q. One of our easiest standard deviation formulas. I like this one. Um, so we need q. We don't have it. It's the probability of a failure, and we always know that P and Q should add to one. You're either going to succeed or you're going to fail, so they're complements, they add to one. Um, so our Q is going to be 1 minus 0 0.25, which of course is 0 0.75. Three questions out of the four that are going to be incorrect. So plug this in, square root of 20 times 0 0.25 times 0.75. Right. And you should get, if you were to do this, 1.94. So the mean is 5 and the standard deviation is 1.94.